Welcome back guys to the wonderful world of Waikato Sheds. Uh, we're in the balmy Greater Waikato here, another great example of a completed shed here. Good thing about this is it's re another real classic example of how we customise to the client's needs and customise to the site or to the, uh, to the environment where it's situated. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll see the colours are quite, quite unique. We've got grey friars on the roof and desert sand. Uh, the cladding is desert sand and all the flashings desert sand. That's to match the, uh, the existing home just above me here, tying in those colours and that's what the client said was very important. Also you'll notice um, quite a steep roof, it's 30 degrees, normally we're at sort of 11, 15-ish, even 22, but 30 degrees was really to tie in with a couple of other structures and buildings on site, so uh, that was part of the brief. Yeah, and we've designed it specifically to what the client wants to put in it, and that's a car. You'll see we've got a sectional door here that we've offset. The reason being is the other part, when we get inside, that'll highlight that there's room for um, future um, workshop, uh, mezzanines, um, elevated storage, and that's where he can work on his collectible car. So lovely big sectional door, moved to one side on the bay there and um, we'll get inside and have a good yak at that or good look at that. So just before we go in we should talk a, a little bit about the specs. So as I say the customer wanted it designed specific to, um, to his dimensions. We're seven meters deep or seven meters span, 8.4 long. Yeah lovely big sectional door, 4.8 wide. 2.2 um, high, so this is just shy on 59 square meters. The client's now um, retrofitted all the power in there, you can see he's put some nice lights in there, um, and there's a sensor, and I know he's going to put some good security in here too, so um, yeah, it's all looking pretty much completed. So we'll pop inside, we'll have a look. Voila! <laughs> We're inside, look at this beautiful shed, 30 degrees roof pitch so it gives you this awesome height to utilize and as I was saying when I was outside this side um, it's future proof so that a client can uh, can not just put workshop to uh, or workbench here to work on uh, his collectible car and you know car parts and engines and things he's also wanting to have um, the ability to put storage loft or elevated mezzanine and that's why we've got these high windows, not just for security so people can't see in, but also, you know, they're actually opening. So um, shout out to Fisher and City Glass. We can pop those and that'll um, vent the garage. And especially when he's up there mucking around with all the storage and bits and pieces to do with his cars and his workshop. Yeah, so this, this site is high wind zone. So what does that mean? So the design program I work with when we're putting together a, a shed design, we have to um, factor in the design, uh, sorry, the wind zone, uh, the terrain, where it's being positioned on site, um, how it orientates to the prevailing winds and things like that. So this has been engineered for the site, for the high wind zone, strong, strong gauge steel, extra bracing, um, so this, you know, this is guaranteed 50 years plus minimum it's going to be here and it won't go anywhere. So looking around here, so there's your sectional door, uh, lovely big pitch roof as I was talking about. Working with the client in mind here, you'll see something quite unique it, right on the middle of the concrete floor here. That's a um, bolted in D-bolt. Um, this a client told me he works on a collectible car. He doesn't want that collectible car going anywhere. So we put our heads together and we thought, why don't we um, bolt that in there? He can chain and use it as, as a security measure to, um, yeah, just an added security to keep that car here and not somewhere else. You'll notice we've got full wrap. So we've got the wrap up here with the mesh thermocraft uh, on the walls. Oh, sorry, Thermocraft and Watergate, Waterguard uh, wrap or paper on the walls. Why is that? Well, this will minimise condensation building up. Perfect when um, the client retrofits and puts ply uh, and lines, lines the shed and makes it even more comfortable than it is now. And I think it looks and feels really great in here. So it's worth mentioning some of our key suppliers. Bit of a shout out. I talked about City Glass, Fisher Windows. Um, all the cladding, all the cladding flashings, all that stuff is all New Zealand made, New Zealand colour steel of course, and um, that's a bit of a shout out to Metalcraft. And Dominator Doors, they do all our wonderful doors here, beautiful sectional or a roller door, you could have had a roller door, uh, but the client really wanted this nice wide sectional. 
and um, all the fixings, uh, shout out to Connect. So key thing with Waikato Sheds, it's New Zealand made. And that's got to be that's got to be awesome. So we, we keep it real, keep it New Zealand made. So thanks for viewing today, guys, with this another wonderful example of uh, a Waikato customised design shed in the Greater Waikato. Remember, great sheds done right. See you next time.